I'm putting together a series of videos on every single weapon and weapon type in Starfield, testing the best versions of these weapons that we can find, and then also eventually coming up with sort of a synopsis on which weapons I think are best in slot and which ones you should actively seek out to use in the game due to their power level or just them being really damn awesome weapons. Starting us off, however, in today's video, we're looking at pistols, which are quite formidable in Starfield. Some of these weapons are too awesome to miss. So sit down, get ready, and let's go. So first things first, before we actually get into the detail of each one of these weapons, we need to just discuss some homework here and the basis on which my analysis is based. So first and foremost, when it comes to the weapon tiers in the game, and this has got nothing to do with whether it's an epic or legendary or anything like that, but weapons come in different tiers, and these tiers are level gated in a way in the game. You are able to sometimes find these by killing mobs at a certain level higher, or maybe out in the world, but generally speaking, when you hit certain level tiers in the game, you're going to start seeing these weapons showing up in shops and more often on enemies. Now these level tiers, base being the first one where everything starts, ranges from 1 to 10. And then of course we have calibrated following that, which is 20 plus, refined, 30 plus, advanced, 40 plus, and last but not least, the final tier is superior. One thing to know about superior though is whether this is a bug or an intended thing, there are really no superior weapons in the game right now. You can even try to spawn them in the console and that's not really possible. This is a weapons tier which will most likely follow in the planned DLC for Starfield down the line. So when you are looking for specific weapons in the game, most likely the highest tier you're able to find is advanced. Now that also comes with a slight caveat. And even though today's video is focusing specifically on pistols, I do just also want to mention that some weapons are going to not be possible right now to find at the advanced quality. These weapons happen to actually have some of the pistols in them, and that being the Rattler, the Side Star, and uh, I believe, I think... I think it's the rattler and the side star I, I'm, I'm missing another one the eon of course now these three pistols no matter what i've not been able to find anything higher than a refined quality in this of course let me know in the comments down below if you have found something uh, that is a higher quality than refined for these three but nonetheless these three were the ones which i used for my testing and then for all the other pistols i ended up using advanced lastly these are of course the versions of weapons which aren't affected by any of the affixes that you can get from the epic or the legendary variants of these weapons out there that being said that it is possible for you to find a randomly rolled weapon which ends up being better than some of these even if it's an advanced weapon just due to the fact that the perk roll on it is really good a very good example of this would be something like a sniper rifle that has instigating on it instigating means that you deal a lot more damage if the enemy has full life which oftentimes as a sniper rifle your first shot is on an enemy with full hp that is unaware of where you are so that is a fantastic stat to have on a sniper rifle and sometimes this might make you pick a rifle uh that's let's say of lesser weapon tier but because it has this perk it just overall delivers a much more powerful bullet so starting us off with the pistols we have 13 pistols available to us at least these are the ones that i'm aware of 13 different types of pistol if i can put it that way manufacturers anything like that and looking at the base stats for all of these and again i will mention that when I say base values here it means that no mods are installed on the guns but if you see different values on yours these values can be affected by skills that you have put points into in the game a good example would this be let's say for instance the ballistic uh, a skill when you put points into that or even the pistol skill that is going to increase the damage of these weapons and so therefore your damage values on these weapons will stack up nonetheless if you see a value that you'd like if you see something that is a high damage value then of course putting more skills in will only make that better so uh, if you see something you like then only know that it can only get better with skills now looking at the base values here easily right from the beginning some of these jump out and just immediately look super attractive either because they have super high damage values or they have really decent ranges or they just seem to have a fairly large mag therefore you can get into a lot of gunfights 
now one other thing of course that we need to bear in mind is that when we start talking about like the mods and everything like that that i prefer on a gun or the way that i choose to build my pistol your mileage may vary and for you a pistol might be something that you use in a silenced capacity and it's basically like something that you use to sneak up on enemies and kill them which is kind of like the way that i pit pistol but you could also be thinking that pistols for you should be something like a machine pistol that you can just whip out and mow down a bunch of enemies or you could be hoping for the magnum archetype where you're pulling off these massive big shots and killing stuff so in the end this happens to be my way in which i prefer my pistols and the ones which jumped out to me your mileage may vary but the idea here is to at least give each one of these a little highlight and to show you what's going on now right as i mentioned from the beginning out of the list of pistols that we have some of these immediately jumped out to me the mag shot the nova light the earth uh, the old earth pistol the razorback the regulator the urban eagle the varun star shot which is the alien looking pistol and then last but not least the xm 2311 which is kind of like the old earth pistol but just has more mod slots and just overall has better stats and uh it just looks really fucking cool it's like a like an old school pistol in a futuristic game so i tested all of these and basically uh some of these simply just you know sort of dropped off for me like in the case of like the kraken i know the kraken was uh, a cool idea as a machine pistol kind of variant but the only problem i have with it is it just does not deal enough damage at all and then uh like in cases of the the eon you know there's just another pistol that does its job better like for instance the regulator the side star the solstice solstice was not a favorite of mine due to the fact that uh it kind of like looks like you're shooting someone with a fucking flashlight so it just didn't work out for me but in the end when i started throwing mods onto these weapons and started sort of testing them all and uh you know shooting with them because a large part of these weapons of course and i know you guys will know what i mean is gun feel like you want these to feel good when they shoot and then obviously you also want them to hurt a lot when they hit something and in the end when we start looking at slapping some mods onto these weapons some of them really start shining out you know uh, looking a lot more attractive than other ones do in my case, uh, as I suspected, the Nova Light is a really, really good laser pistol variant kind of thing. Even though I don't really think it counts as a laser, it looks like it shoots a laser. But the bottom line is, uh, this is a type of weapon that does physical damage and does energy damage. So you're, you're leaning into both sides of these. Of course, both sides of these damage have uh, certain enemy types that they're better against. Of course, energy damage is much better against mech type enemies and stuff like that. And of course, physical damage is really good against squishy targets like uh, bugs running around and human beings. So this scales relatively high once you start slapping a couple of mods into it and it gets a fairly decent amount of damage on both sides of these. But the other thing that I really like about the Nova Light is also just that it feels like a really good gun to use and you don't necessarily have to go down sight so that you can just shoot free from the, from the hip and it does a lot of work for you. Then a big surprise for me was the Rattler. Originally, as you can see on the left here, it was a gun that I wasn't planning on enjoying. And further on, it's compounded by the fact that I haven't been able to find a refined, uh, sorry, to find an advanced version of the Rattler. The highest quality I've been able to find is refined. So automatically, you've got a little bit of a deficit there in terms of, you know, stats and everything like that, because it's one tier below most of the other ones that we're looking at in this list. However, this gun just feels and looks, but feels really, really good to use. Uh, it is a super low caliber 27 cal, uh, which generally also means that you should have quite a lot of these bullets sort of like lying around. But nonetheless, this has a decent mag. It's got a decent fire rate, so you can pop a bunch of these shots off. It's hyper, hyper accurate uh, at 75% with making it one of the higher ones in the list here. And just overall, this thing is like a little workhorse and just does a, a, a lot of good things. So even though the damage is slightly lower, and if you're looking for something that has one kill potential, meaning like one shot kill something, and you don't have to put follow-up shots in, this might not be the best option. I just really enjoy this gun. And the only way that I can convince you to do this is to build yourself up a Rattler, slap on a couple of mods, and uh, go ahead and give it a try. You might be pleasantly surprised then our third last one that i want to draw some attention to is the urban eagle the urban eagle is also kind of like a let's call it a modern age pistol in this uh, you know sort of uh, new age world and uh, it has a ridiculously high damage pretty much within the top three 
in this list here so you are getting a huge amount of damage per bullet uh, and therefore that's also reflected by a relatively low mag size so you got to make sure those shots count but that's coupled with the fact that it is super super accurate and you put some armor piercing rounds into this thing and it just absolutely fucking shreds enemies so I cannot recommend it enough uh if you are playing the kind of like assassin uh john wick fucking spacesuit wearing machine that goes onto a space station and kills everybody playstyle then you uh definitely don't need to look elsewhere last but not least i want to draw some attention to the xm2311 which to me is everything that i just said about the urban eagle coupled with the fact that the xm2311 just feels really good to shoot and it just looks really awesome while it's doing it now it doesn't deal quite as much damage as the urban eagle the urban eagle slightly outpaces it with damage but it makes up for that by the fact that you have some more bullets available in the pipe by default uh, which can of course be made even more so if you put different mags and stuff in it's got a higher fire rate so you can push those bullets out faster it has a slightly lesser range than what we see in something like the urban eagle but the point is that usually your effective kill range with a pistol and where you really want to be using a pistol is between 15 to 20 meters which this operates very comfortably in regardless so once you start going over those ranges you tend to want to favor something like a rifle or something like that so this generally just does really well i'm actually going to go through each one of the builds for these pistols that i currently use again like i said this is fully user preference and you can build it however you want but let's look at each one of these four pistols and exactly how i set up their mods and then i'll let you go so starting us off in the same order in which we just looked at them on the spreadsheet is the novalite now the novalite ooh, that's not supposed to happen the novalite uh you can go the full seven out of seven mods but uh in my case i ended up opting for not actually putting like a scope or anything weird on it or you know a, a recon sight or anything but if you slap a long barrel a recon laser sight a focus nozzle which actually increases the damage and then a large magazine and an amplifier on you maybe the way to do this is actually to go onto the you know the weapon workbench maybe that's the maybe that's the fucking g spot right so if i if i go onto the weapon workbench here itself then as as you can see uh this is of course the nova light let me just maybe then move my camera back to over here and then i think we're okay so here uh we're opting for the long barrel on here because that's just going to give us an additional range boost now this gun by default already has a fairly big uh range uh, 46.2 is pretty much the range that some of the rifles shoot at so this thing is fucking ridiculous um and uh then we put the recon laser sight on here because what that does is when you shoot an enemy it actually paints the 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 outline of the enemy so even if they run around the corner you can still track them and figure out where the hell they are and then we use the glow sights here now here's where i'm saying like you could put some you could put something like the reflex sight on here but i just feel like this gun i was using it very snappy and i was just like sort of picking off uh the shots and everything so a lot of times i was i was just shooting from the hip glow sights were perfect for that focus nozzle is good because what that does is it gives us more damage more headshot damage and more range that's one of the reasons why we go to 46 uh, uh 0.2 range with this gun uh focal lens gives you a lot more accuracy uh, but by a lot i mean like three percent so absolutely focus nozzle is just far better in terms of the perks that it actually delivers now a uh, large magazine here just gives us a lot more rounds but um we are also able to convert this into an electromagnetic gun which means we can use it to stun enemies electromag rounds don't actually kill live enemies so you can use that to stun enemies and then walk up to them and stab them in the fucking head with a knife or you can use annihilate the rounds which basically turns this gun into something that essentially spreads the fucking plague around so as you shoot an enemy with the annihilate the round if there are any other enemies nearby this gas this annihilate the gas will spread it around like a dot and essentially kill them but i opted for the large magazine here because it just gives me more bullets in the pipe or in this case in the battery and uh, it just works really well amplifier is what gives us a another power level up in terms of damage output so this is really good as well if you wanted an increased rate of fire so you wanted this thing to shoot like a machine pistol you could go for overclock and then you could also opt for burst fire or semi-auto now generally speaking in weapons uh in in starfield semi-automatic gives you your highest damage profile it, it's where your bullets hit the hardest fully auto is usually the lowest but then that's because you're throwing so many bullets downrange it sort of cancels out 
and then burst fire or double fire or something like that usually straddles in the middle however with certain weapons this does not actually affect your damage at all and you can clearly see by me switching between the two here the only real thing that it's doing is it's increasing my fire rate it's not actually affecting my damage but you will notice with some of the bullet variant guns that this will actually affect it but that itself there as i mentioned is then my build for uh for the for the nova light and as mentioned it is the long barrel recon laser side focus nozzle large magazine and amplifier then the next one that i wanted to highlight in my list as before was the rattler now i mean come on just look at this thing it just looks so fucking cute okay so with the rattler itself again long barrel because we want to increase in range we're going to put a laser sight on there we don't have the option of putting a better laser sight on there i'm sure if we got an advanced version of this then maybe that would have been an option but since we are stuck with the refined version because that's the highest in the game right now that's probably our problem reflex sight is good on here i just think it works for the aesthetic of the weapon however everything that i said before with the previous gun if you want to use the glow sights because you're going to be firing from the hip and stuff that's absolutely up to you suppressor because we are oftentimes are using pistols for stealth at least i am so absolutely a suppressor is a must here and then generally speaking it's always a good idea to pick up armor piercing rounds uh when you can you have options of course like for instance this gun allows you to take white art rounds which is incendiary ammo you can shoot something it hits it sets the guy on fire and burns them which is kind of fucking cute but a lot of the times uh that what you want is you want a weapon that can drill through shields very fast uh maybe get that one shot kill potential and armor piercing rounds can absolutely help you with that another option that you sometimes have on certain weapons is penetrator rounds the difference being between penetrator and armor piercing that armor piercing is really good at chipping away armor blocks on enemies whereas penetrator is really good at hitting enemies in a line so penetrator can work if you're fighting a lot of weak enemies that are like fucking bum rushing you and charging you down penetrator can actually carry your rounds through all of those enemies and, and deal equal damage to almost all of them which can also sometimes be sexy high powered here is generally the perk that we take for ballistic weapons because it increases our damage done your other options will be hair trigger which gives you faster fire rate and high velocity which gives you more accuracy and range again i think there's an argument to be made for high velocity being good in certain cases when you want that increased accuracy and range for pinpoint you know snipe shots and stuff like that but the point can also be argued that if as long as you look you know take care of your shots and you have a higher accuracy value of like 75 and up you're not going to miss your shots and then you actually just want to deal as much damage as possible and that's where of course um high powered comes in and then again same thing that i've been saying the entire time you have semi-automatic here which gives you your highest damage profile you can switch to things like binary trigger binary trigger means that on every trigger pull it shoots twice so it it uh, shoots at the press and at the release so it's like it's like a double shot but again semi-auto just you know works for me here so in the end my rattler build is a long barrel a laser sight a reflex sight a suppressor an armor piercing round package and high power giving you six out of seven of the mods used then the next one was the urban eagle now as mentioned the urban eagle looks like a fucking you know modern day weapon uh, that has been brought forward into the future massive fucking silencer on on the boy over there huge amount of damage coming from this pistol but we're putting a long barrel on here and i'm not going to zoom in on each one of these i think i spent enough time in the previous ones explaining them but uh, and the reason behind picking them but long barrel recon laser sight absolutely reflex sight gets us that aim down down the sights a lot faster suppressor obviously because we want to be you know sneaky sneaky tactical grip gives us also uh, a little bit of additional um it, it 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 increases your aim down side speed so you can look down the pipe faster faster reload speed and stability this is a fantastic grip to put on almost anything because just the reload speed boost alone is is pretty damn sexy armor piercing rounds as mentioned is the shit uh i did mention just now penetrate around so as mentioned in some of these guns you can actually find that penetrator allows you to pass through multiple enemies but if you want something that can chunk armor you want armor piercing high powered once again because it's good shit so in the end my urban eagle build is long barrel recon laser sight reflex sight suppressor tactical grip armor piercing rounds and high power giving you seven out of seven mods and in my opinion the best version of this pistol that you can get last but not least and this is my fucking a uh, baby is the xm 2311 look at that thing look at it it just looks so fucking sick look at the silence on it 
so this has extremely decent damage as well just 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 short of the urban eagle but with less mods for you to work with you are going for a laser side you are putting a red dot side on there you want the suppressor you absolutely want armor piercing rounds and you want high part what i like about this pistol is it's no mess no fuss there's no like weird messing with grips and fucking whatever the hell it's laser side optic muzzle you know your, what kind of bullets and fucking how hard do those bullets hit that's what you want and that's what you get so in the end my build for the xm2311 is a laser side a red dot sight a uh, suppressor urban urban jesus armor piercing rounds and high power giving you five out of five mods used and in my opinion the sexiest xm23 on the block and that's gonna be it for the video sorry i think this is a slightly long one but as you guys can tell i love talking about the weapons in starfield so look forward to additional videos coming for all the other different types like heavy shotgun rifle and all that rifle is a fairly big category because technically within rifle you can have actual rifles you can have sniper rifles and you can have something that kind of like fits more into the submachine gun category which absolutely you can build some rifle size as well so that one might be a even larger longer video but let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy this style of video i try to include a little bit of everything i put in some stats i put in some footage everything like that but i am super flexible and i'm willing to bring whichever you know format of this information that you guys can consume to this channel but other than that i just want to thank you for the time that you spent with me thanks for watching this video go ahead and uh, sub to the channel like this video if you enjoy content like this tons more of it coming for starfield but also for all the other games that i support but as always it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world till next video fucking cheers